Hello everyone. Today, let's learn about the structural design and thermal performance of the stamped liquid cooling plate in the battery module. The stamped liquid cooling plate is composed of upper and lower cooling plates which were welded together. The upper cooling plate is directly attached to the bottom of the battery module through a thermal interface pad. The lower cooling plate is a stamped structure with inner runners. In order to meet the requirement of heat, dissipation uniformity, the lower cooler plate is usually designed with a symmetrical structure of center rotation. The material of liquid cooling plate usually adopts 3003 aluminum alloy. The thickness of aluminum plate is 1.5 mm. In order to explore the thermal performance of the design, we will perform CFD analysis. And before it, we need to make sure the heat power of the battery module. In general, the heating power of the battery when discharging is greater than the heating power when charging. Therefore, it is sufficient to test the thermal power of the battery module at the 1C discharge rate. The intended simulation parameters for the thermal simulation are shown in this figure. The thermal pad material in the liquid cooling system is organic silicone composite material. The liquid cooling plate is made of aluminum alloy. The coolant is ethylene glycol aqueous solution. Through calculation and simulation, we found that the smaller the depth of the flow channel of the liquid cooling plate, the better it is for the improvement of the heat dissipation and temperature uniformity of the battery module. However, too small a flow path depth is. It will not only increase the manufacturing process difficulty, but also causes a significant increase in the energy consumption of the system.